Hello. In today's episode, we will be solving this problem called trading zeros. So our task is to calculate the number of trading zeros in the factorial of n. For example, 20 factorial is equal to this, and the r and it has four trading zeros. And n can be up to 10 to the 9. So to start with, there is no way we could actually compute the factorial and check how many zeros there are in there, because factorials grow really fast. But let's think about this problem. So instead of thinking about factorials, uh, in general, for a number, like basically, we are given a number x, and we are trying to find the largest p such that 10 to the p divides x. So this is what, what, what we need to find. And this is equivalent to finding, so in order for 10 to the p to divide x, 5 to the p should also divide x, and 2 to the p should also divide x. And uh, the minimum of these two should be equal to p. So instead of, uh, since 10 is not a prime, we'd rather think about primes because we have in mind to use something called Legendre formula. So let's check out the Wikipedia page for that formula. So in mathematics, Legendre formula gives us an expression for the exponent of the largest power of a prime p that divides the factorial n. It is named after Adrien Marie Legendre. It is also sometimes known as the Polignac formula after Alphonse de Polignac, French dudes. So this is the formula. Basically, we keep dividing n by all powers of p until this gets to zero. And like, let's check out this example. So for n equals 6, 6 factorial is equal to 720, and this is, equal, this is the factorization of that value. So the genre formula applied to 2 would give us 4. And here it is. So we would divide it by 2, this would give us 3. Then we would divide it by 2 squared, which is 4, and this would give us 1. And then when we divide it by the next power, which is a, it would just give us 0. So even though this goes to infinity, we can just ignore all higher terms because they are just equal to 0. And the answer would be actually 4. Here for 3. We just have one term because the next term would be 9 and it would be too large and the answer would be 2 as stated here. So basically the proof is pretty straightforward. When we first uh, perform this division, it means that all multiples of 2 less than n will contribute to the power of 2. So 2, 4 and 6 will all uh, contribute 1 and it is accounted for in this three. And then four will also contribute an additional one because four is actually two squared. That's why we divide by four here again. And that's how we get the formula. So this is pretty much it. Let's go back to our problem. Uh, as we said, if we take any number, uh, like our n factorial, we we'll just need to find the genre of 5 and the genre of 2 and print out their minimum, which will be precisely this. So that's it. Let's go ahead and create our function around and then solve the problem. So let's go ahead and code our solution. 
Let's start by reading the input. Mm, let's declare our answer. Initialize it with zero. Also, we'll declare a dummy variable that will represent the powers of five. Mm, let's call it power five and uh, start with five. This needs to be a long one because it might, it might overflow. So while uh, power five is less than or equal to n, we will keep updating our answer with n divided by power five. And we will move to the next power by multiplying this by five. And at the end we'll just print the answer. So I believe the answer for 20 was 4 works. So let's submit. Nice works. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.